Hey guys, James here from TCG University, coming back at you with another deck profile. Today I'm going to be showing you my Tim Keefe 3 dot deck. So let's get into it. Okay guys, Tim Keefe is a 627 air good and life character. He has two abilities. E, this attack with a greater speed than damage gets plus 3 damage or minus 3 speed. And then respond after your attack is blocked. You choose two of your opponent's foundations and they are not allowed to block, uh, commit those cards to block uh, for the rest of the turn. Um, I built this, I built a really cool deck guys. And if you want to see it, make sure to check out the campus championships. Uh, they were a lot of fun this week. So uh, make sure to look into those and, uh, let's get into the cool key part of the deck. Uh, this asset was the MVP, the all-star of the deck and the biggest pro card choice ever. It's Flambear, four of it. It's a zero five, one mid block breaker, one unique weapon. Three abilities. E, this high attack gets one speed or minus one speed. Uh, this e, enhance. This mid attack gets plus one or minus one speed. And then enhance. This low attack gets plus one or minus one speed. Uh, this card just says all of our attacks are going to have more speed than damage. So we get to Tim Keefe and give it three damage. That's all this card said. Same thing with this one. Uh, Emperor of Outworld. It's a zero four. Uh, no block. Enhance your attack with a print damage of three or less gets plus one speed. Just guaranteeing that Tim Keefe allows us to give damage. Like that was the entire goal of the deck was to give enough speed to where we just get free damage. Uh, so we're playing a bunch of assets and our main choice is to try and get four uh, get a flame bear out. So I, that's why we play four of it. And since our goal is to always have that one asset out, we are playing four discus. It works really well with that. Works really well with the plus one speed on Tim Keefe. And... Because uh, of its ability, it works really well with Flambear. It's a 3-3, three, 3-mid three, three for 3 with a 3-mid block. Breaker 1, multiple 1, ranged and safe. After you block an attack with this card, it deals no damage. And then enhance during the end phase. Add this card to your hand. Uh, add this card to your hand. Only playable if you have 1 or more assets. Uh, so if you have an asset, this just says you have an onboard defense all the time. Uh, you, you play it as an attack, do your cool things, and still get it back at the end of the turn. Meaning you don't really lose anything by playing it. Uh, I won a I won a few games just by playing this card a lot, so uh, trust me, it's pretty good. Next, we're playing four Sun God Choke. This is a five three five high for three with a three mid block. This by itself gets the three damage from Tim Keefe, making it a five high for six. It has a stack that says when you add it to momentum, you add a face up. Uh, it has an enhance from your momentum. You remove it. Your attack with a printed damage of three gets three or less gets plus five damage, and then enhance lose two vitality. This attack. After this attack resolves, you add to your momentum. Uh, this works really well with our Aegis Discus for the multiple. And it works really cool with our biggest kill card in the deck, which is Sakura Toshi, which also has multiple. Um, the multiples really matter in this deck because Tim Keefe doesn't say printed or face up. Uh, so this uh, uh, um, doesn't say face up, basically. So uh, if the multiples have a higher speed than damage, uh, they also get the damage from Tim Keefe, which is also very cool. Okay, guys, the camera froze on me, so we had to back it up a little bit. Sorry about that. Um, next, we're going to talk about Sawblade Strike. Sawblade Strike is a 4-3 with a 4 high. That's a 4 high for 3 with a 2 mid block. It says EX2, safe and weapon on it. It has a stack that says when it's added to the momentum, you add it face up. Uh, it's enhance is lose 2 vitality. This attack gets plus 3 damage and gains range. Uh, with its speed being greater than its damage, you can give Tim Keefe three damage first, making it a four for six, and then give it three more damage with itself, making it a four for nine, which is super, super cool. It's a super strong hit, and like if you get the right cards, can do a lot of damage really fast. Uh, and then the bottom enhance is E, momentum, gain one vitality, which means if this is in your momentum, we just extend our 27 life even further. Next, we're going to talk about Blood Offering Totem. It's a 3-3, three, three, 2 mid for 1, so it gets that 3 damage off of Tim Keefe. 0 high block, breaker 1, safe again. Everything in here is safe. I don't know uh, where I lost um, the video part for that yet, so um, I don't know if I've mentioned it, but everything in here but the uh, Sun God Chokes are safe, which means it's really hard to get reversal in this deck, but it means your biggest vulnerability is the Sun God Choke, so watch out for that. Uh, it has a stack that says if it's discarded from your hand due to your opponent's effect, you'll gain five life, extending this life total even more. 
Uh, it has an enhance from your momentum that says all of your attacks with a printed, uh, obviously, uh, your attack gain with a printed damage of three or less gets plus one damage, so that works on multiples and every attack in our deck, obviously. And then E, add this card to your momentum during the end phase. Uh, this card's a good poke card because it'll always go to your momentum unless your opponent aborts it or you abort it somehow. Uh, so you'll always gain that momentum and you'll always have that one damage till you use it for something else. Uh, has a nice zero high block and breaker one. Lets you block things and get that plus two progressive on your opponent. It's just a really strong two mid for four with Tim Keefe. And then the last stack we're going to talk about is Sakura Otoshi. Sakura Otoshi is a two high for two, multiple two safe, two low block. It's a four diff with a three control. Uh, has an enhance that says gain two. So again, extending our life total a little bit. And then if you've used any, another enhance that says if you've used its EX ability, the itself and the multiple copies of this card ignore progressive difficulty which means you get to play more and more attacks without having to worry about checking bad um this card is super cool because like uh i know this was out earlier i don't know when i put it out but giving one speed to everything so you give one speed to this and then give it three damage making this a three high for five and then he doesn't care about multiples or anything like that so like giving the speed off of tim key giving the speed making the multiples speed higher than its damage just allows tim keith to give it three damage as well which means all of those multiples are also going to gain speed it's a i thought it was really cool when i noticed it and that's why i kind of built the deck around it okay on to our foundations or foundations and other cards we're done with attacks we got two delta blue team um we want to make our small attacks as big as possible so having free damage buffs is very nice this attack uh this card also has a two low block it's a two diff with a five gives every it gives a high a low or a mid all three different enhances plus one damage uh so like uh this card's really good in like zone changers it allows you to change zones and give plus damage repeatedly to an attack but we mainly use it just to give one more damage to attacks to make sure that uh when they if they hit they do hit a little harder same thing with the uh, last of his kind the lose two, uh, it's a two five, the two low block as well. Uh, also unique. Uh, the E lose two vitality and attack gets minus four damage, minimum of one. Works really well at extending our life total. But the desperation E and deadlock E of both giving your attack plus two damage makes all of our small attacks when we get to those zone, get to that range of the game, very big. And having very big small attacks that you get to play multiple, 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 multiple copies of is very, very good. Especially when the enhances on those are just gated by Desperation and Deadlock. There's no cost for them. Uh, next, we're playing three Force of Defeat. I thought I was playing four. I wonder if... No, I guess I only played three. Oh, did I drop it? I dropped it. <coughs> Whoops. Uh, okay, so Force of Defeat Evil. It's a 2-6 with a 3 mid block. Uh, we mainly play it for the E once per turn. This attack gets minus one damage. Your next attack gets plus two. This works really well with things like our Sakura Toshi and the... And our, um, where is it? The Angel Discus, because they have, th they're both the same speed and damage, so 3-3, three, 2-2. Three, two, two. So it allows us to give minus one damage, making our speed higher than damage, and allowing us to give more damage with Tim Keith. Just if we kind of need to be put in that situation, we're able to do it. Instead of giving plus three with Tim Keith, we kind of just give plus two. But plus two is bigger than plus one, so like, it's something. Uh, so yeah, so basically we just lower the attack of our own attacks to make other things bigger. As well as, like, if you ever have to commit Tim Keefe, using these is very nice to try and get them out of the way. And they check six, my dude. They're pretty cool. Uh, next, we got four Immortal Knowledge. It's a 1-5 of the three mid-block. Uh, enhance, you, this attack gets plus one or minus one damage. And then, Respond Destroy after your punch review step. Add the top card of their discard pile to their hand. So, this card can either slow your opponent down if they have a lot of foundations or uh, non-attacks on the top of their discard pile and you don't want them to kill you kind of just blow these up to make sure they don't get to draw as many cards and have less of an option to kill you or you can do the same thing kind of with uh, force of defeat evil you can give minus one to your attack to try and do tim keith buffs or you can just give free damage to your attacks if you know they're going to hit like if you know your opponent doesn't want to block because you know they're holding their attack for something you just make it really really big and kind of force your opponent's hand to either block it or take a lot of damage uh, next, we're going to talk about next. Uh, those were all the cards that kind of interact with the small attack game plan. Next, we're going to talk about the uh, more of like a defensive and just help helpful cards game plan, which is uh, two Templar. 
Uh, Templars, they respond after you block with it. Draw two, gain two. No longer has this breaker. Don't look at it. It's a one mid block with a five check. You'll never check, never worry about this three difficulty. Templar doesn't have this. It just doesn't. Uh, but yeah, you block with it. You draw two, gain two. Have more defensive options. And like I said, extending our life total with Tim Keefe is very nice, especially when we're playing lo a lot of small attacks and we kind of want to live longer. Uh, we put a lot of things in momentum. So two Dark Tournament looms. Dark Tournament Looms is a 1-5 of the 2 mid block that says E, remove, add one of your momentum to your hand, and then draw one card. So it replaces itself from the top of the deck and gives you one momentum that you know what it is because all, almost all of our attacks go to our momentum face up. So it really allows you to game plan and function how you want to do things. 2 Revoke. It's a 0-5 of the no block, but uh, it has a first form that says all of our foundations when we play them. Get negative one difficulty for the rest of the turn, or the rest, yeah, the, for the rest of the turn. And then during the end phase, it comes down as a foundation itself. So it's a, basically a plus one build just by losing a card in hand. And if we do decide to keep it, it has that nifty R after your opponent plays an enhance ability, cancels effects, remove this card from the game. This card cancels everything it wants to in the game. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's a character, the asset, foundation, action. Doesn't matter what it is, cancel it. Just really, really good card. Always a staple in those symbol in any symbol. You got Omega Sword and Elk Shield. It's a 1-6 with a 1 mid-block. It has a stack that says you can block with it from your staging area as though it were in your hand. And then if you do block with it, the attack only deals 1 damage. Even if it's a throw, even if it's a partial, always deals 1. Even if it's a full block, it'll always deal the 1 damage. And then E, twice per turn, you can flip a foundation, and then both players will commit a face-up foundation. This works as like a pseudo-stun and uh, kind of slows your opponent down on defense. Uh, um, slows your opponent's offense down while you're on defense, as well as gives you the option to like make sure you don't die with a nice one mid-block that makes sure you block something and only take one damage from it. As well as being like a pseudo-card in your hand that you don't have to worry about your opponent discarding your hand. Uh, next, we're talking about the two Omega Sword and Owl Shields. It's a 1-5 of the 1 mid-block. Uh, while it's in the while it's in our uh, staging area ready, we block ignoring progressive difficulty. And then E, check a 4, your attack gets a damage bonus equal to its printed block modifier playable while committed. Uh, this works really well with our small attacks too, or at least some of them. Well, obviously, like Blood Offering Totem has a 0 and whatnot. But like it works really well with them to give them speed and damage. Um, this is really good on defense to make sure we block very well, but it also works really well on offense when we play our multiples out and we fill our card pool and somebody reversals us. Um, it doesn't happen often because all of our attacks are safe, but like Sun's Love exists. We're about, well, I'm about to actually talk about it because I always throw it in my decks too. Um, it takes away safe and then um, you're able to obviously re reversal somebody. And like if they do and our card pool's full or like if they play um, Princess Perry and bounce our attack and we have multiples in our card pool... Um, it just kind of uh, it kind of leaves us at a loss because we have a full card pool and no way to block attacks. And this just says we get to ignore those and block. Uh, just kind of like uh, counteract how uh, how uh, counteracts bad situations for us. Uh, then we got one of Sun's Love. It's a 3-5 with a no block. Uh, first form, we get to commit and draw a card. And then our, if our opponent wishes to add a momentum to get themselves momentum from the top of their deck, we get to draw an extra card which means we get plus two hand size instead of the plus one off of this. Uh, I think this card in any of its symbols, and I'll say it every single time, uh, is needed. It's a it's a plus one to your hand size whenever you get on board. Sure, you commit a card, but it's just like not having it anyways. You basically replace itself, and you just know you're always going to be negative one on foundations despite what the, it looks like. And then if you choose not to use it, it is ready. So like, it's not like you'd lose it forever. And then E, remove. This attack loses safe. Play ball committed. Uh, this just works if we're going to play reversals. Our deck doesn't play reversals, but it's there. You never know if, like, you're playing a base. You need to get rid of their safe. <laughs> uh, then we got two Hunt for Spires and Dragons. It's a 3-5 of the three low block. We mainly play it for the R card pool. After you play an attack, flip one of your opponent's foundations and add this card to your stage and face down. This basically says play an attack, flip something we don't like, build a foundation. It says we build more and get rid of problem cards. Uh, we got four English Aristocrat. It's a 2-5 of the one a high block. This is mainly in here for the E commit. Your attack with two or fewer printed keywords gets plus three speed. If it deals damage, gain through vitality. Um, I really just wanted to give speed so I can give damage with Tim Keefe. 
And then uh, I later learned during the uh, during the tournament that the only attack it works on is my Sun God Choke, which is not a bad target. It's just the only target, which kind of sucked. So it kind of just ended up being a one high block that I held a lot. Uh, that was just more of like a mental mistake when building. Uh, we do like to try and fiddle with speed a lot, so confronting Jetta. It's a 2-5 with a 2 high block that says E once per turn. This attack gets plus X or minus X damage. X equals the difference between this attack's speed and its printed speed. Uh, this works really well with like Tim Keefe. Like I said, we can give minus speed to their attacks and then give minus damage with confronting Jetta. Or we can just give plus 1 or 2 speed depending on like the number of cards we have in, in our stage that give speed to our attacks. Uh, just kind of like working with that. And it works with multiples because multiples have a printed uh, speed of zero. And then their speed is actually whatever, like two, three, whatever the speed is. So it'll get extra damage off of that as well, which is also pretty cool. Uh, then we got one generous gambler. Generous gambler is a two, four, the two high block that says E destroy one face down foundation. This attack gets plus two or minus two speed. Uh, this just says we can get rid of our face downs to give more speed to make sure Tim Keefe gets to give three damage to something or to give minus speed to something so we can block. Uh, next we got four dragon's tail. Uh, Dragon Sail is a 1-5 of the 3 high block. Respond commit after your attack is partially blocked. It gets 3 damage and you gain a vitality. Uh, so this were, the reason we have this in here is to try and give uh, more damage to our small attacks. So like if our opponent tries to partial block our attacks just so they take less damage, we kind of just increase it and gain life. So we both get to deal more damage with our small attacks and extend our life total. And then the last card in our deck is one Syndicate Target. Syndicate Target's a 0 6 zero low block that says after we block with it, we lose a Vitality. Uh, it's just a simple, we don't like Cherry Toad, Nutcracker, and all that. We don't want to have to deal with it. Please stop. <laughs> Thanks again for checking out the profile, guys. Make sure to let me know what you guys think about my Tim Keefe deck down below. Make sure to check out the Campus Championship and watch how this deck was played. Check out the cool combos and stuff I did during the tournament. Uh, if you want to support us, go to patreon.com slash tcguniversity. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. And as always, guys, stay alert.